if you're following sort of industry suggested cyber security from ACSC, uh, we think we provide an extra layer of security at the hardware level. Right. But following those guidelines is very important. Yes. What we like to be is we're sort of the last line of defense. Um, and right now it doesn't feel like there's a last line of defense in a lot of ICT componentry. Um, in fact, the attack vector is almost coming from both directions. Uh, at least this way we can direct it so it's only coming in through the front door. It's not starting in the back door. Because what it seems to me is that there's a lot of companies and directors and businesses that are almost trading on hope at the moment. They hope their systems are secure, but they're not certain their systems are yeah, secure. And directors and entire boards should be asking their CIOs what exactly is in our rack and where exactly did it come from. Okay, because this is where, you know, bad actors on a global basis trying to attack Australia and its interests, where they clearly, if they can get access anywhere, they also can either change data or steal data. That's right. Once you have access to that lower level of the, of the hardware, you have access to everything. It's below the operating system level. So it doesn't matter what antivirus, cybersecurity, you can steal the data, you can alter the data, and it's probably entirely untraceable until some other event happens. And in the context of critical infrastructure, that attack could be turning a power station off. So that's the key here, isn't it? Because it's actually trying to prevent the ability for harm to be done to the public. They might even not realise this, but there could be changes in records, control of systems. All of this could happen if Australia was under cyber attack. We live in a massively connected world, whether it's traffic lights, petrol pumps, power stations. This all relies on ICT infrastructure. And if that were to be attacked, we could turn all the petrol pumps off, the power off, make all the traffic lights red. And if we look at what happened in the early days of the conflict in Ukraine, the first missile was directed at a government data center because they knew that if they could take out that level of infrastructure, they would be able to infiltrate Ukraine much easier. And that's the risk here. Not that a missile is gonna come, but it's gonna be a cyber-based attack and it's gonna sit onside our critical infrastructure. Jason Van Der Schiff, many, many thanks for your time. Thanks a lot, Russ.